Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting a cannot open volume for direct access error when you're trying to run the check disk system tool built into Windows, which basically verifies the integrity of a volume and tries to fix system errors. So it identifies bad sectors present on the hard drive and will mark them so that the computer will not attempt to access those sectors when it's doing its normal operations. So if you're trying to get this issue and you already know what drive you're experiencing the problem with, we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, just left click on the Start button one time. Type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt above desktop app. You want to right click on this and then you want to left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So basically if we know what driver we're having the problem with, you want to type in CHK NTFS space forward slash X and then a space and now whatever drive letter you're experiencing the issue with. So let's say we want to exclude the D drive from the check disk utility. So I'm going to type D and then the one dot on top of another dot. So again CHK NFS space forward slash X space D and then the one dot on top of another dot sign. Then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. It should say what file type it is. And now that you've done that this command, keep in mind, it's not actually going to be cumulative and you would have to do this basically whenever you're trying to search a volume for a dirty bit. So now we're going to include the drive again. We're running the check disk to see if the scan will run successfully. So you just would type in chk dsk space forward slash f and then I'm going to type d colon again. Then you're going to hit enter. So assuming it was an NTFS drive, this is a UDF so it's not going to be applicable. But just want to put that out there to you guys. So basically this would force the check disk utility to run. And if the volume wasn't used by another application, you would have to press Y to execute the command upon restarting. And just keep in mind, and I think this is an important point to note, that you actually have to do this solution from within your Windows operating system. Meaning if you're using a recovery tool, you're not going to be able to run this. So I hope that explained it somewhat clearly. It's a little complicated, so I tried to explain it as simple as I could. I figure most people that are on this tutorial know what they're doing, and they're looking for something like this. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.